today we are going to show you our PID controller trainer kit order code is 52026. This is the PID controller trainer kit. This is square wave generator, this is triangular wave generator, this is plus 10 plus minus 10 volt DC in build, in build. this is the digi digital voltmeter and this is main switch to turn on or of the kit. This is user manual and patch cards. these all are included in this kit and to perform the experiments we will need a CRO or DSO. So our first experiment is study of on off controller and for this we need to build this connection given here. So first connect set point here TP1 to on off controller here and connect this here. Now from here connect this to voltmeter and ground this tunnel, sorry ground this terminal. Now first keep this at minimum position, both these knobs at minimum position and set the set point at plus um, 1 volt. So with the help of the voltmeter set it at approximately 1 volt this, now connect this here at TP9. Now observe when the LED starts to glow. Sorry, change this, change this knob and observe when the LED starts to glow. So our set voltage is approximately 1 volt and we can see that around 1.43 the LED is glowing. So this means differential gap is less when knob uh, is at minimum position. Now turn off the kit and set this knob at maximum position. Now again vary this knob disturbance to observe the voltage when the LED will start to glow. So as you can see when this knob is at max maximum position the gap between on and off is also increased. Our next experiment is to study of open loop system and for this we need to build this connection here. So first connect set point TP1 at this set point. and connect TP4, you can choose any points here because these all are internally connected with each other. So these all are TP4, so you can connect, choose any points and connect it with this block proportional. And then connect this with this adder block and from this TP10, from the output of this adder block, connect it. a voltmeter. Now ground the neg negative terminal of the voltmeter. Also we need to ground this process variable terminal of error and also ground all the terminal, all the input terminal of the adder block which is not in, which are not in use.
So now, turn on the key and observe the output voltage. First set the output voltage approximately at 1 volt. This is approximately at 1 volt and also measure the input voltage for this. So, we can see this is the input voltage and this is the output voltage. Now, change the output voltage at 2 volt. So, now we are setting the output voltage at around 2. around 2. Now, also check the input voltage for this. Like this, set the output voltage at different value like 3, 4, 5 and also check the input variable and write down it in a table and observe the difference between input and output. Our next experiment is study of proportional plus integrator PI controller. So, for this we will need to build this connection here and we will observe the output this output waveform in CRO. So, first connect square wave here at set point. Now, from here TP4 connect this to proportional block and connect integral block to TP4 also I am connecting this here. Now, the output of proportional and the output of the integral block will go to the input of adder block here at this block. So, connect this here and we will observe the output waveform from this block from this point. Now, ground the connection sorry ground the terminal of error process variable also ground the inputs of summing block which are not in use. So, there are two terminal which are not in use. So, can ground this terminals connect the negative lead of a CRO to the ground and we will observe the output waveform here at TP 10. So, you can see this is the output waveform. Now, vary this knob K P and K I and observe the effect on the output waveform. Like this. Our next experiment is study of proportional plus derivative that is PD controller. So, for this we are going to build this connection. In this experiment the connection is almost same, almost same except for integral block we will connect this to derivative block like this and the rest of the connection is same and we will observe the output here at TP 10. So, this is the output waveform that we are going to observe is the CRO. So, this is the output waveform So, vary the knob K P and K D to see the effect on the output waveform.
also we can check this by applying triangular app, uh, triangular wave in the same manner. Our next experiment is study of proportional plus integrator plus derivative that is PID controller. For this we are going to build this connection and we will observe this output in the waveform. The connection is almost same except for this we also need to connect the integral block and the output of this integral will connect it with the input of adder block at this block. So, so my this terminal is this input terminal is not in use. So, I have grounded this terminal and this three input terminal are in use this is from proportional block, this is from integral and this is from derivative and we will observe the output here at TP 10. So, we can see this is the output waveform, this is the output waveform and by varying this 3 knob you can observe the effect of the output waveform.